welcome back to my channel. So today I created a very easy yet beautiful graduation look. So if you would like to see how I created this look, then you guys know what to do. Just keep watching. So I usually start my videos off by already having my eyebrows on, but I wanted to do something a little different. So I am going to do my eyebrows on camera. Um, I will be just fast forwarding through this part because I do have an eyebrow routine. Um, but I just wanted to open up the video with something a little bit different. I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and this is in number 10 and I'm taking just my concealer brush okay so now that the eyes are primed I will be setting just the crease with a little bit of like a light powder and I am using a fluffy brush from Sigma. Okay, and with the same brush, I'm just going to take the color Soft Brown from MAC and just buff this as my transition shade. transition shade place um, so I'm gonna go in with this super shock shadow from Colourpop it is called birthday cake and the best way to use these uh, shadows from Colourpop is to just use your finger so that's what I'm gonna do so I'm just going to swirl my finger in that and then pop this all over the lid this look all the time because that's how much I love this shadow from Colourpop and it's so easy to do especially for me because I do work a full-time job and I do have to be up like really early in the morning so doing my makeup with something um, just easy to use and just a simple look is key for me but I do want something just nice and pretty and this shadow really adds a bit of sparkle to a very simple look Okay, so that is it for the eyes. I'm not even going to do um, a liner, um, but I will just go in with a small blending brush. Um, this one right here, and I'm just going to kind of blend everything together. You don't want to blend too hard because you don't want the glitter to go up into the crease, but you want to uh, make sure there is a nice even transition between the glitter and the transition shade that we placed. So I'm like barely feathering this on my eyes. So that is it. I am going to um, tight line my eyes and I'm using this black liner from Smashbox. And then for my bottom waterline, I'm going to go in with the brown so you guys know I'm going to go in with Costa Riche. Alright, so for today's primer, I'm using my Rimmel Stay Matte. Um, I do have um, oily combination skin, so that's why I like to use a mattifying primer, but we are actually going to add um, a little bit of liquid highlight to the skin, and also I'm using a CC cream instead of a um, foundation today, so that's going to give us a little bit of do without having to use like a dewy foundation and getting all oily throughout graduation. Um, I know a lot of high school graduations, um, they are usually in like May or June, um, and if you're graduating from college, I guess it just depends on um, your college. Some have graduations in um, the winter time, and then some do have graduations in the spring and summer. Um, 
My graduation was in May and it was actually inside so I wasn't like sitting out in the heat. But some high schools and colleges, they do have their graduations outside, so just be prepared and make sure you wear the proper um, like base and foundation for the environment. And then for the liquid highlight, I'm going back to my Makeup Revolution um, liquid highlight in Starlight. So I'm just going to add it to um, like the high points of my face where I usually um, highlight. And this just adds like a glow from within to your face. Um, so next I'm going to apply my CC cream. So I use the IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Your Skin But Better CC Cream. Okay, so I am using this brush by Crown Brushes, and of course I got it in one of my Ipsy bags. So that looks really good applied with that brush. I'm really impressed. Like the brush is probably my new way to apply my foundation. So next we're going to go ahead and conceal. And of course I like to use my Ulta Beauty uh, Full Coverage Liquid Concealer. And this is in the shade Medium Warm. And for my concealer I still like to use a sponge to blend that out. So I'm using my Real Technique sponge. highlight to my face. I'm going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the number 10. Yeah. To set my under eyes, I'm using uh, the RCMA No Color Powder. Now this powder is translucent. Translucent? What? This is a translucent powder and it does not have any flashback. So if you are looking for a baking powder or a setting powder that does not give you flashback, I really recommend the RCMA. And with a little bit more of that powder, I'm just going to take my powder brush and lightly powder the rest of my face. want to make sure everything is set down especially if you're outside or just sitting underneath hot lights you don't want your makeup to go anywhere okay so everything is set down it's not moving we're gonna go ahead and finish up the lower lash line so I'm just taking that blending brush that we use to apply a little bit of that sh shadow to the outer corner and I'm using the same shadow so soft brown from MAC and I'm just gonna buff this on the entire lower lash line Okay, and then for the inner corner, um, you can definitely go in with something like nice and icy and frosty. Um, but usually for this look, I like taking um, this. It's actually a baked highlighter, but I use it as an eyeshadow. So it's by a company called Luna. You guys know where I got this from. Do I need to tell you? It's from Ipsy. And it's like a purple iridescent color, so that's why I like to pair it with this um, ColourPop shadow. And for this, I'm going to use a angled brush. Uh, for the brow bone, since we have so much sparkle, so much shimmer on the lid, I'm just taking a, uh, this is like a cream color. This is just in my um, eyebrow um, contouring palette. So I'm just going to apply that to my brow bone. For the rest of the face, I am going to do a light contour because you know, you want to be just cut when you're graduating, leaving all those haters behind. So I'm going to go in with my Wet n Wild Contour Palette. Yeah. So that's just a light contour that we got going on. And for bronzing, you guys know, Physician's Formula. Let's go ahead and use the e.l.f. Complexion Brush to apply that all over the face. Um, blush, I'm using this Mineral Blush by Bella Pierre. Okay, 
And then for a highlight, I have two different options here. Um, I do have this Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter in Peach Lights. Like, I mean, it's just not... I don't know if I got like a bad one or what. So of course I'm going to go in with another one. This is the Maybelline Master Chrome in Molten Gold. Like that is what... That's what I'm talking about, okay? Alright, so for lashes, you guys know I love my little cheapy TJ Maxx lashes, so that's what I've applied today. I'm going to go ahead and set my brows with the Essence Make Me Brow in the color Brownie. Alright, and then I also just realized my hair is looking a little fuzzy. I just woke up from a nap before I recorded this video. Don't judge me. So for lips, I'm going to go in with a nude. Um, so I am using this lippy pencil from ColourPop. It's in the color Curvy. And right on top of that Curvy lip liner, I'm going to go in with the Curvy Gloss. Mine is pretty beat up. Like the gold is like fading away and also the names. Um, but I'm going to pop that gloss right on top. Okay guys, so that completes today's graduation look. It's super simple, yet it looks like you put a lot of time and effort into it. And I was thinking about dusting off my old cap and gown for you guys, throwing it on for the sake of this video, but we got this going on. So she's up, she's not coming down out of this bun for the next couple of days. So no cap is going on this. But in order to be just a little bit extra for you, I did bust out the baby hairs. Y'all see them swimming? women and baby hairs okay thank you guys so much for watching today's video remember to give this video a big old thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you are not already subscribed and i'll see you guys next time bye